Sani Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. This is the energy update for November. November, the energy frequency really is retraction, energy coming back. So October was like, you know, blowing the lid off now. It's for real, this is like a contraction, retracting, it's retracting, coming back, squeezing. But what that means though is it's that the energy turns very dark and in October, it got really bright light, like a lot of you know energy is being exposed. But now what's happening is it's almost like a tightening, tightening up. So just imagine the lid blows off, but now it's like that lid is coming back. It's retracting back, back, back. But not only that, things are now getting like tight, like there's a tightening up. So on an energy level for, for people, for you, what that means is, Whatever you didn't, you know, release and clear in October, those energy frequencies are now being squished, squeezed down, pulled back, you know, kind of like retracting, okay, pulling in. But what's going to happen though is they're they're coming in and it has a quality of like coming together. So what I mean by that is whatever, all the different issues, you know, like different wounding, whatever that is, feeling like you're not enough or feeling like you're something's wrong with you or your failure or, you know, whatever you're, you're, uh, you have been facing or experiencing, but didn't go through all of those now are kind of coming together rather than in a, in a separate kind of energy, meaning, okay, I feel like I'm a failure. I feel like I'm not enough. I feel like I'm unlovable. You know, we can really feel those in their own energy emotions, okay? What's happening now is in that squeeze, they're all being pulled together and meshed together, okay? So all of those, whatever the wounding you still have, whatever these those emotional angst that you are still holding, now they're just coming together all together, okay? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze down all together, all together, all together. Okay, so what it's doing in some way is it's, it's pulling back in, pushing things back down into the subconscious. So in some ways, it actually might feel like, whoa, things are things got a little easier. <laughs> okay, that's a false sense of mm -hmm, easy. Okay, but they didn't go away. That's the thing. See, so all these energies that are inside of you that you didn't go through. They didn't leave your body. They're still there. They'll be rising up another time. But right now, they're contracting deep, 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 kind of getting hidden back into the subconscious, you know, coming back in, tightening up. That means it's balling up. It's getting even tighter into a tighter ball, okay? What that does is it really does allow for the shifts and changes that you have been experiencing. It it's allows you to have some openness like some expansion feelings like whoa feels good you know I've made some changes I feel different I feel lighter I feel freer yes thank goodness so how has that quality of almost like a reprieve okay so the intensity that's been happening and again it doesn't mean that the energies are gone whatever you didn't go through whatever still you know needing to be faced and felt and known is still there okay but right now Everybody's got like a little bit of a reprieve, you know? So this month, you know, this is a, another month for some people. This is like the beginning of holidays coming in, uh, you know, for Thanksgiving. And, you know, it's that time where we'll be coming together with, with families and friends with, and, and sharing time together. And what this does, though, is allowing for more uh, space, so to speak. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like a storm, a storm comes through. It's, you know, it's an intense storm and all this stuff is happening. The storm's over. Whoa, and the sun came out and it's like, oh, all right. Okay, we, we you know, beautiful day now, okay? So in some ways, November for some people is gonna feel like a softening and an easier gentle flow. Now, it doesn't mean that there still aren't things happening in the world, but ultimately it, it, when people are just kind of feeling, feeling, feeling into themselves, there is more of a, huh, oh, you know, whoa, okay, I made it, <laughs> got through that one, okay, and then things seem, seem to start softening, okay, so to write, I, yeah, I just really encourage people just to really enjoy this time, enjoy the, 
the reprieve, so to speak, and the aftermath of some like major, major tornado -y kind of stuff, you know, disruption happened in, in the last month. And, and then November really just kind of like, uh, on some ways it can actually feel like, whoa, it's just, I feel like I'm being held, okay, I'm being held. And it feels good, okay, that feeling of being held um, it is your own your own higher levels. It is the energy frequencies of the universe as well. That's just kind of like holding everyone in the aftermath. Okay, because we got major stuff happening in different parts of the world that our country is, you know, sort of a part of and becoming a part of. And our country is seeing the aftermath. It is seeing the horrors that are actually happening that are still continuing. And for us, you know, for the United States mostly, and it's actually energies for everyone, it's global. And, you know, those that are in these really intense experiences, um, there's still going to be something softening, okay? The horrors, they're just something that, that isn't like, you know, the, you're just feeling like so traumatized, you know? So it's like this, the intensity of the, you know, anxieties and horrors and terrors and fears, it's just like, and there's just a softening, okay? And, you know, we're coming into to the, the, you know, this is the fall, but it still has that quality of like, hey, things are getting cold, winter come, winter's coming. So things are falling away. Like, you know, you know how the trees start losing all their leaves and, and it just starts coming into that place of, of uh, just kind of like dormancy, okay? Coming into that dormant time of year and, November doesn't mean that it's going to be dormant, but it, what it does mean is that it can actually feel good. Okay. It can feel good. And I would just encourage everybody to just enjoy this time because as you know, we know things will start moving again, but right now it's definitely that pulling in time, being grateful time. This is a time for like that, you know, for, for the United States, for that, the whole thing around Thanksgiving, is truly about you know having gratitude, being grateful for what you have. Okay, so this would be the time now, after, you know, after the October. Now is the time to have gratitude for what you do have. Have gratitude for your life, you know, for being here. Have gratitude for the little things, and you know, and then the people in your life. So the gratitude is really a, an important. It time ex experience to have that gratitude. I just want to say something about gratitude. When it's authentically coming from the heart, it has a different frequency other as opposed to when we're having gratitude because we're thinking we should have gratitude, okay? So to have true gratitude, I'm just going to walk you through this because this is really important. True gratitude comes from the heart, okay? So take your awareness. Just be aware of looking through your eyes, looking, you know, looking out in the world through your eyes and close your eyes and still feeling that. Then take your awareness because you can take your awareness right down to your heart, the heart chakra. OK, what you're doing is you're taking your awareness as though you're literally bringing your consciousness right down to your heart chakra. And then from there, literally as though you are looking out into the world from your heart chakra. OK. Now, inside of everyone, I don't care how evil, bad, how wonderful, great you are, everyone is a divine being, everyone has light. So now take your awareness into your own light. Just coming back, back, back until you fall back into, you start to feel your own light. Now, for some of you, it might be like a little grain of sand. For others, it might be, you know, like a cantaloupe or, you know, some kind of, you know, uh, bigger energy, ultimately, it doesn't matter. Bottom line is this, take your awareness into your heart, okay? Now, right from there, from that place of your, your own light, this is your light. In here is the frequency of unconditional love. That's not the, oh, baby, oh, baby. It's not the, oh, I love my kids. It's not the, oh, I love, I love, I'm so ecstatic. It's not that. It's that place of peacefulness, connection, oneness, it's not a big energy. It's a soft, peaceful feeling. So you're taking your awareness right into that light that you are. And then from there, from right there, feeling that sense of oneness, feeling the sense of peace. Now we are going to allow and open 
that energy, our heart, just imagine you're opening it wider and wider. You're letting your light get brighter and bigger in your own energy field while still feeling that sense of just a peace, a oneness. And then from there, just having gratitude for, for all of humanity, having gratitude for whatever you wanna have gratitude for, okay? For me personally, I have gratitude for the souls and their own evolution to face themselves, to li literally live up to what they agreed to experience coming in and the gratitude that they were willing to do that and the horrors that they have lived just really honoring and loving these souls for all of that. And then as well, having gratitude for the divine plan and its unfolding. Everything is unfolding perfectly. There is no mistakes. Everything's right on track, right on time. Everything literally is in the flow. And it is really about revealing and exposing the darkness in order to go into the new paradigm. So whatever you have gratitude for, maybe it's your family, maybe it's your work, maybe it's your life, maybe it's your health, whatever that is, true gratitude right from your own heart, not big intense, you know, don't try to go into euphoric energies or, you know, trying to, you know, send your excitement because that's not what true unconditional love is. It's not an excitement. It's pure peace, love, okay? Very gentle, very soft, very compassionate, but without emotion. There's not a lot of emotion in that place of really having gratitude from the heart, okay? So you can practice with that, play with that, utilize that. When you wanna have true gratitude, not, not getting all excited about something and thinking it's all about, you know, uh, you know, like, okay, I'm feeling so alive, I'm so excited. That's not pure unconditional love. That's not pure gratitude. That's you're, you're expanding out and that's not the truth. We wanna come in to our core, to that frequency of pure love and light and have gratitude from there, okay? So what that also does in the month of November is that pure light, because it is, it's just pure light, pure light. What that allows for is you're literally sending an energy frequency into your own energy field all around you your own body, your home, your family, your friends, wherever you are, you're literally sending a frequency, a beautiful frequency of unconditional love to everything and everyone around you. And what that does, it's, it actually literally solidifies with the energy frequency that November is also holding. And that energy is, it's, it's like, calming down, peacefulness, you know, retra retracting in, pulling energy in, but it's light, there's love, there's, there's not blame, there's not hatred. That's not what this month is about. This month is about, you know, like, like you had a major, major thing, the storm blew everything around, now it's all over, and now everything's calming down, and then the sun's coming out, there's beauty again, there's peace again, okay? So November really is a, that retracting month, Pulling in month, it's a very powerful month, important month, because things will start opening up in a different way as we, you know, as the months start progressing. So November, just really enjoy it, take advantage of it, let it be peaceful. Meet your family, greet your family, your loved ones, keep your heart open, you know, just loving. Just remember, everyone's doing the best they can. Okay, if they could do it different, they would. People are asleep. Okay, they believe their beliefs. And they're, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're anchored in and attached to their beliefs and everybody thinks they're right. Okay. So for you, have an open heart, let people feel what they feel, believe what they believe, nothing to do. It's just a belief, you know, just love them anyway. This is the time for you demonstrating your own love and demonstrating unconditional love for those that you are connected to, whether they're family or they're friends, doesn't matter. It's a time for you to, you know, to really step into more of your mastery and demonstrate and lead the way, show, show the way for others, be a way shower, demonstrate unconditional love. So that doesn't have to be angst and, you know, uh, blaming and belief systems and you don't do this, you believe this or whatever, whatever. None of it really matters, people. Yeah, it's like, let it all go, show up in love, be grateful for the experience that you've had, be grateful for this time of reprieve, so to speak, in November, 
because it will start to shift and change, okay? So and again, November is a very good, powerful month. It's a, a time to just, you know, open that heart, have gratitude, share, share your love with those that you do care about, and also holding it for the entire world, holding it for all of humanity, that all of humanity can also find some peace and find some, you know, some rest in the traumas and horrors that many people have been living and experiencing, okay? So November, great month in some ways, time to relax and take a breath, <laughs> yeah, gratitude, thank goodness, okay? So I'm gonna do an activation in just a moment, but just a reminder that there we have group clearings that will really support you in this month. So. In, in November, the 10th of November, we have a group clearing and it is clearing the fear of humiliation. I have to tell you, humiliation is huge. I mean, it doesn't take anything to make someone be, you know, feel humiliated. And when you've been humiliated as a child, you have fear of being humiliated. Okay. So that's a big one. Fear of humiliation. Okay. So we're going to clear that. So that's on the 10th of November. And then we're gonna do the next week simply because the following week is, a, is that uh, Thanksgiving time when a lot of people will be with family. So that next topic is, does your family drive you crazy? That'll be on the 17th. So that's a group clearing on the 17th. We also are doing the chakra series, which is a very specific, special clearing. You get a whole hour of clearing out debris in the particular chakra. So the coming up one is the solar plexus, the third chakra, which is your power center. Perfect timing. So we'll be clearing that out. So you'll fill out a questionnaire. I extract all the issues out of the questionnaire and then I just hammer it. Clear, 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 clear. So you're getting a massive clearing beyond anything you've ever imagined, okay? So that's also coming up. All right, so activation. All righty, so what I'm gonna activate is peace. I wanna activate peace inside of you because this month is the month of let's just have some peace. Let's just be calm, let's be open, let's have unconditional love, but let's have peace. All right, so now the frequency of peace, I'm gonna go deep, deep, deep into your subconscious, but I'm also gonna go right into the heart chakra. I'm gonna go right deep, deep, deep into that heart chakra where you do hold the frequency of unconditional love, but you also hold peace in that energy frequency. So literally just a, this releasing debris, 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 energy frequencies covering up the frequency of peace and that energy feeling just to be at peace, no matter what's happening in the world, to be at peace, we're gonna activate that. Actually, I'm doing a couple little activations at one into, in the brain itself and one in the heart chakra. Activating in the in the heart chakra, activating the frequency of peace, that frequency of peace, light, light, stop. There we go. Good, 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 good. And in the brain, the frequency of peace, peace, peace in the brain, in the brain itself. Light, light. Da, 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 da. And there we go. Stop. Good. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. Activating peace for the month of November. All right, people. Remember, find that place inside, gratitude, and check out the group clearings. Hopefully we'll see you there. <laughs>